Okay, uh, welcome to today's notes, number notations, our first lesson of the year. So we are just kind of doing a little bit of algebra review. If you look at the very top where it says algebra review, you can see there is a line, a circle that's filled in with a line pointing to the right, and the circle starts at negative two. Just bear with me on my writing here as I'm getting used to it, and it goes off. And when you see an arrow, that means it goes off to infinity. Infinity kind of looks like a number eight on its side. And infinity just means it goes on and on and on. The, the filled in circle, that means it stops at negative two. And this, since this is on the x axis, how we would write it, you would write x, and you'd say it's greater than or equal to. So the line underneath means equal to and then negative two. So when we're talking about some of our terminology, an, an open circle, so if where that negative 2 is at was an open circle, that means it's not equal. Open circle means not equal. Or exclusive. And like I said before, forgive my writing. It's not very good, but we'll work on it. The closed circle. So if the open circle means not equal to, the closed circle means it can equal it. It can be equal. And it would be, instead of exclusive, it would be inclusive. So open circle, not equal to, exclusive, closed circle, it can equal it, and it's inclusive. The arrowhead, the arrowhead, it means it does not end, or infinite. So you'd say it doesn't end. Another word for that is it goes off to infinity. So from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? So when we look, we have our symbols used. You have less than, greater than. So the less than is the error like that. Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to, and then does not equal. Symbols, we have parentheses, which means it's open, and brackets, which means closed. And then if we're looking at other symbols, this is in set notation. So if you look at the top, I have different notations. We have inequality notation on the left, interval notation in the middle. Set notation also adds in two symbols or three symbols, excuse me, you have um, a different a squiggly brackets and then you have just the straight line and you use those if you were going to say like up above where it says x is greater than or equal to negative two we would say the set of all x's straight lines such that x is greater than or equal to negative two and then you close it with another squiggly bracket And symbols used for open circles. So let's zoom in here. Symbols used for open circles. We have not equal, which is the equal sign with a slash. Less than, greater than, and then the parentheses. And for symbols used for closed circles, it would be less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, brackets, and the equal to sign. The, so that straight line that we have saw in the set builder notation is read as such that. Basically it's just a shortcut for, and you say such that when you see it. 
let me try to rewrite it so we can see it better. So let's say such that. Okay. So now, now that we have the terminology, let's look at some examples. We'll slide it up a little bit. So for the first example, you can see we have an arrow that goes off to the left, so it's going towards negative. And then we have an open circle at four. So what I always like to do is put where is the arrow going? It's going off towards negative infinity. That is the left-hand side of your graph. And then I put an X because we're on the X axis. And then where does it start? stop on the right-hand side? It stops at four. So with inequality notation, I can write so you could either write negative infinity is less than x is less than 4, so it's always going to be like this. But I don't need to say that. I know it's definitely going off to negative infinity, so I can just say x is less than 4. And it's less than and not less than or equal to because it's an open circle. So that's inequality. The interval notation so anytime you go off to infinity or negative infinity, it's always open. So I'm going to use parentheses, negative infinity, comma, and then the other side is a 4, and it's open as well. And then set builder, what's nice about set builder notation is it's basically uh, rewriting inequality notation, except with that part, the squiggly bracket x such that, so it's read as the set of all x's, such that x is less than 4, close it with another squiggly bracket. And you can see it right there. So it's set of all x's such that x is less than 4. Okay, now number 2. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. So you can see you have an open circle at negative 1 and a closed circle at 4. So just like I did before, negative 1, x in the middle, and 4. And I would just immediately start with less than signs in both spots. And then as you look, you can see because there you have a closed circle, put an equal to part. So now you can basically go to how you're going to write all your notations. So inequality notation, you would say negative 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. With interval notation, the negative 1 is open. So you do negative 1, comma 4. 4 is closed. So you have a closed bracket. And then set builder notation, you just repeat any, your inequality and rewrite it with your squiggly bracket, the set of all x's such that negative 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. Close it with the other squiggly bracket. So you can see it right there. Okay. We move on to the next one. So we have 1, x, and it goes off to the right, so that means it's positive infinity. And this time I'm not going to write the less than signs in there. I'm just going to know that that's what happens. So my inequality notation, I read it from left to right. 1 is less than x is less than infinity, and there's no equal to sign, because, or there is an equal to sign. 1 is less than or equal to x because it's closed right here, but at infinity it's open. And in interval notation I use the same two, so now at my left side one is in brackets, comma infinity, parentheses because it's open. And then with set builder, just like we did before, you redo your inequality notation. So the set of all x is such that 1 is less than or equal to x is less than infinity. 
excuse me, so I need to put put the wrong bracket in, I need to put a squiggly bracket like that. And if you can't write it perfectly, that is okay. Just give me some squiggles and I'll know what you mean because I'm not very good at it either. Alright, next to last one. We have, you can see it's at negative 1, x in the middle, and 2. And as you're looking, you can see both are open points. So when we do our inequality, it would be negative 1, less than x, less than 2. Interval notation, they're both going to be in parentheses. So it's negative 1, comma, 2, in parentheses. And then our set notation, or set builder notation, squiggly bracket, the set of all x is such that negative 1 is less than x is less than 2 and then close the bracket. So you can see it right there. Okay, our last one, once again, go from left to right. So the first point is at negative 3. X is in the middle, and it goes all the way off to the right. So it's going off to positive infinity. And so I'm always going to read it from left to right. So my inequality notation is if you look at it, so here if I put in my marks. When in inequality notation, you don't have to say negative 3 is less than x is less than infinity. You can just say x, so you could say negative 3 is less than x, or I would rather write x is greater than negative 3 um, because I think we're most, we're used to seeing the x or the variable listed first when there's just a variable and a number. So then in our interval notation, but we need to think back to left to right. So we have open parentheses, negative 3, comma, to infinity on the right. And they're both commas. So then we finally have set builder notation, set of all x's, such that x is greater than negative 3. And if I can write negative 3, and then the parentheses. So in all, it looks something like that. So thank you for listening to my very first